This bill clarifies the intent of changes made to Senate Bill 571 last year relating to local ballot questions. The intention was to protect taxpayer dollars from being spent on advocating for or against local ballot questions. After meeting with and listening to many of my local schools and officials, as well as several organizations representing schools, local governments, libraries, and others, the unifying desire among them was to ensure that local entities can provide factual information to residents about local ballot questions. This bill before you accomplishes that goal. It also provides clarity to the expectations of our local entities as they communicate with their residents. You don't have to be a lawyer to know what this bill means. Additionally, House Bill 5219 better protects our taxpayers. I want to thank the West Michigan Talent Triangle and the Michigan Libraries Association for working in good faith and their support on this bill, as well as my colleagues on both sides of the issue for working with me to help find that policy sweet spot. House Bill 5219 is good public policy that ensures public bodies like local governments, schools, libraries can indeed communicate with their residents factual information, but they will not be permitted to cross the line of informing residents to influencing voters at the expense of our hardworking taxpayers. And that's something we should all support. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.